Okay. Chair, don't do this to me. Alright. I should probably move this. So I can see chat more. I think. Okay. Whoa, Tower Force Sabotage on Mercury. Okay, I'll take that. A deception reward? Yeah, sure. Okay. Easy choice. Not even like a second guess on that. These poor enemies can't even deal with the ember. Hopefully that video updates on YouTube so people actually know I'm streaming. I'm here because they were all burned alive instantly. Awesome. Thank you, Timmer. Yeah, things did not go uh, according to plan with uploading today. And hopefully all this stuff is processed by the time the uh, Why Would You Use needs to go up tomorrow. Or else that'll be a real bad time. T4 Sab. Move this window. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, you come out of stasis. Oh yeah, the Tonkor is a great weapon. If you can get used to the Tonkor, like that weapon trashes so many like types of enemies. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Hmm, I think if you use Firestorm, the explosion's actually big enough to kill nullifiers inside their bubble. I might be wrong about that, though. And that is uh, one of the reasons to use it, if that is true. I've not used it enough to actually know if that is the deal. I'm leveling the Convectrix right now. That does not put these in the order I would want. Hell's Chamber for what, first. Blaze, obvious. Yeah, I think if I like the Tonkor's firing action more, it'd probably be a weapon that I would, I would probably abuse that weapon. It would probably not be okay, like in any way, shape, or form. Where is my just general damage mod? Is there really no... Mm. Alright, there we go. Okay, drop this, point blank over here. And that's fine. Tonbo. This trash weapon... God, I hate this thing. I don't even hate this thing for like the reasons that I should. I hate the rack to ballistica for reasons that like shouldn't be a problem. Like, this thing does plenty of damage. It's just I hate how it fires. Oh yeah, yeah. If you use the um, God, what's it called? Uh, yeah, it is the augment with Zephyr. Uh, it basically makes that thing like a straight line cannon. Like it just fucks shit up. It is actually probably one of like the best reasons to use Zephyr. Hello, Zebes. Uh, any Warframe you guys want to see me play as? I'm always like indecisive on who I actually want to use. Like I ran Ember through that mission because it was who I logged in as. I'm never sure. Also, Ash Prime is not an option. I haven't got that shit to drop yet. It's terrible. Some Atlas. Regular Ash. Chroma? Alright. We can do some Chroma. I haven't played him in a while. Let's see here. Super long duration, super strength, sort of efficient. Is this the build I was? It's got range, it's got fiber. Yeah, I think this is right. And then. Not electricity, I want ice. Chroma is really good. Uh, the one problem I will say about Chroma is that he kind of needs weapons to back him up. Which is, like, the the weirdest problem to have, I guess. Uh, and having a way to heal really helps him a lot. Um, this is a Dragon Nakana. Dragon Nakana for the Dragon Guy. Pretty appropriate. Yeah, life Strike on this. Alright, this will make my life super easy. Yeah, one thing I like is uh, how Chroma looks. I'm glad they changed his head. What other alerts do we have? A survival? Yeah, let's do a solo survival. I'm sure this will not be hard. That's fucking Chroma. It's, it's Corpus. and eh, nullifiers, maybe. Nullifiers are a problem for Chroma. If you want to go only melee. Like, I prefer to play Chroma. Yeah, I definitely always prefer whenever a frame doesn't really need a weapon. Like, frames like Valkyr, where, like, 
your weapon is like an in addition type deal. Is always nice. Mm, I probably popped my two like way too soon. Oh, uh, I'll pop back into that after uh, this. It's actually a build that is more for um, Excalibur's four. But it, it just generally does a lot of damage, especially on enemies that are like this low level. And it's for healing also, which is important. It's definitely not an optimized build at like any rate. Rap, 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 rap. Don't knock me down. Alright, now I start using the overpowered stuff. Next armor. Makes me invulnerable forever. Alright. Seems okay damage. Oh, the Amprax is fat busted. If I was willing to, like, put more Forma into that weapon, that weapon's a uh, fucking... That's a heinous, like... That weapon is criminal. That weapon is not justice. Like, if you put, like, three Forma into that weapon, you're just criticaling everything and, like, a huge AoE in front of you for, like, hundreds of thousands of fucking damage per second. It's disgusting. That being said, the short range usually puts me off, but because I usually use, like, a Lex or something, it's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Electrifying everyone? That's like the reason, like, well, one of the reasons that Volt is so fun. Besides, obviously, gotta go fast. Because just zapping everyone constantly is great. This Convectrix is not terrible. I think its firing action is weird, though. Really? Now we're gonna get some assassins. Perrin, you just attacked me! Dude, do not be ashamed that you made a weapon super crazy overpowered. That sounds like a great plan, if I'm being honest. Uh, yep. Okay. These guys are here, which means I need to kill them all. Yeah, actually, I'd be interested to know what all is in your Amprex as well. God. Chroma... Whenever Nullifiers are not involved, like, Chroma is... Like, if you look at this, like, top right, like, over 300 and 500% and stuff, like, that's silly. That's disgusting. I'd definitely be interested to see, like, besides, like, the required mods for a critical weapon, uh, like, what all you're using. Pop some more air support. Air support. Air packages. Whatever. Reflect the bullet. I wish Chroma could play like this through, like, all the scaling. Because unfortunately at some point, like, the way I'm playing Chroma right now, with just, like, using his buffs and stuff, and, like, even utilizing Rage just doesn't work. I actually think they would, they would probably benefit from, like, 
limiting enemies on like how high they can scale. So like once you have enough like skill or correct build to be able to fight them, it would be uh, much more possible. No, oh, no, that one looking for jump, jump and say, yeah, yeah. Osprey, Osprey, you're grinding my gears right now. How long is this? Four more minutes? It's not bad. Should make short work of everybody. God, the firing action on this gun is so weird. Yeah, at least it's not as weird as the regular ballistic guy. Cry rounds, malignant, hellfire points, restoration, heavy caliber. That seems pretty solid, actually. I don't know. I would have to check the Amprex's base status chance to see if you'd be better off with, um,. Like another regular, but like regardless, I'm sure that build fucking destroys everything. Oh. Party poopers have arrived. Point strike duration, heavy caliber. Wow. There we go. I'm only on two canisters, that's no good. Yeah. Even if that build is like slightly lower damage than you could actually achieve, that's like... That's killing everything up to like... Probably easy level 100, no problem. Ah, okay, yeah. And that's the thing I love about Syndicate Weapons, that AoE is just too good. Thanks for the buffs, enemies. 100% extra damage. This build is so fucking dumb. I wish I could check how much armor I have on the fly, because I think I'm at I think I'm at 95% damage reduction. Getting pretty close to that, if not. 549%. What I have? I have like 700. Oh, plus my two. It's a lot of armor. I'm definitely beyond the soft cap for armor right, right now. And it's against these, like, fucking level 17 enemies. Problem is that this is not sustainable. Why is this not a toggle? If Chromos 3 was a toggle, he would scale so well. He would be a demon. He would be, oh, you want to talk about disgusting? That would be disgusting. They should do that. They should do that shit. They should make Chrome. They should make all of Chroma's abilities toggles. They, actually, yeah, yeah. His one and his four are already toggles. Make his two and his three toggles. Make him an all toggle frame, and just make him super good. And then you're, like, just judging how much energy you can actually upkeep and turning abilities off. That would be super good. That would be great. Why do we not have an all toggle frame? Chroma would literally just be improved if you just did that and didn't make any of his abilities cost anything, like, outrageous. Let's 
second. Next, it's over here. Maybe not this two. Oh. Haha. <laughs> oh man. I'm never gonna get tired of seeing Twitch emotes. Yeah, Chrome was really good. Uh, problem is he just needs one thing to support him. Which, I don't know. I definitely, I don't know. My opinion of Chroma is definitely better. He just doesn't have a place in, like, a team setting. He's very solo-y. Red coat. Oh, I have not claimed these. <gasps> Spamming the chat with emotes is the life. Okay, what do we have for dailies? What are we doing for dailies? Survival, deception, rescue, defense, rescue, capture, exterminate, spy, interception. Mm. We'll open matchmaking up, but let's just do this interception. That seems fun. Oh yeah, Atlas's 4 is, like, terrible. Like, actually awful. It is a sham. Like, I don't know how that, like, got out the gate. It feels like an ability that should be, like, a 2, maybe a 3 if we're pushing it. Shoot me. No, like, like more. Grenier, I'm, go I'm gonna need you. I need you to shoot me. Grenier, I, ne I need you to shoot me. I need you guys... You guys need to shoot me. I need you to shoot me. Fill me with energy. You fools. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, I actually had, uh, there was an idea I was kicking around, I almost talked about this in my, uh, like, review for Atlas. He should have interaction with all of his abilities. Like, his one should interact with the rest of his stuff. And what I mean by that is, like, he should be able to put up multiple walls and then use his one to make them do their rolling action and, like, be able to chain them together and make it huge. I think that would be a huge improvement to, like, his two, and he'd be able to put up multiple walls so you'd actually be able to, like set up a defensive perimeter and it would be great like give him like strength would increase the amount of walls that would be a huge like great thing for like positioning reasons and stuff like that uh and then with his two or uh with his four rather you would summon the golems and then you could hit his one to go into the golem and then you get into the golem and you have the golems abilities and then you hit one again and you go into the other golem and you could be like a big rock monster and like combine all of their stuff to give him like a defensive and unique alt, as opposed to having summons that are just like really dumb and just run straight at enemies and gunfire. And then like in terms of his three, I think his three needs to be something, like he should hit his three and then his golems should start doing that. Like ha locking him down into an ability like that isn't really productive, honestly. Like I enjoy his kit, I think it's cool, but there are like a lot of things that don't work like his one is the thing that works the most in his kit which is like not how it should be because usually we have it be like some ability is like the standout ability like for nova it's her four it's gonna usually be like two three four that are like the standout stuff 
But for Alice, it's his one. But, like, that only gets him so far. Like, at some point, like, charging into a bunch of enemies uh, stops getting you into, like, crazy stuff. Like, having, having a more interactive Warframe where your powers interconnect more, like, uh... I don't, not, not seamlessly, because it wouldn't really be seamless, but like having it be like your powers can power up each other. And like what they're about to do with Saren. Oh yeah, based on what they showed in the last dev stream, that rework on Saren is going to make her hilarious. Like, disgusting. Because, like I just said, like with the interact like powers interacting within themselves, they're literally doing that with Saren. Like, her rework is that. Like, based on what they showed, it's like, you hit one, and, like, if your one is active on an enemy, and it spreads to a bunch of enemies, like, pretty much automatically, it seemed like. Uh, and then you hit four, and it does way more damage, and you can cast your molt, and then put your one on it, and then that has an interaction there, and does all kinds of cool shit. And that is that is the type of stuff that makes um, frames more interesting. Like, you get... Like, I think the best example of that, and it's the earliest example that I don't even know was intentional when they made it, was Loki. Like, his 1 and his 3, they interact to do something more interesting. Like, on its own, it's a decoy, but it's also a teleport when used correctly. Just gonna put this here. I think they're gonna take Contagion out. They didn't say anything about it, so I hope that they're just gonna take it out and do something else. Like, they need to get away from, uh, from abilities that, like, have no place ever. Like, I don't think it, I don't think there's any point where you would use Contagion on anything. Conflict? Where's the conflict? Go. Okay, there we go. If they replace Contagion with some type of crowd control, even if it's like a light crowd control, like Accelerant, uh, I think Saren will be a like high meta frame. Like what they're about to do with Rhino. That those changes... If they... It's sort of also a problem, because I kind of like that Rhino falls off. While like at the same time I want every Warframe to scale. But... Hmm. How to put this? I don't, Rhino, I don't want Rhino to be a frame that you get early that answers every question. That makes sense? That's like the one thing I'm worried about. Because, like, if we get to the point where Rhino is, like, the ultimate tank that can't be stopped because his two scales so well, that doesn't give people, like, an incentive to try Chroma, for example. Like, Chroma's a really good tank. Like, you need some specific things to help him out. But, like, a two on Rhino that scales, like, Frost 3 might be too strong. Let's see here. Actually, can I get anything right now with the rest? Oh, close to that Zendana. Uh, hmm. Okay, I have pretty much everything I want. Just mm, global. Uh, it's worth saying while I'm playing Chroma. Uh, his augments are fucking terrible. Like, they're awful. Like, they're absolutely terrible.
Like this afterburn thing. No. God, afterburn is so awful. And vexing retaliation is a joke. Oh, man. Well, let's see here. I don't think I need anything in there except for the, uh, this and Donna. Anything in here? Nah, I don't think so. Pestilence armor, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yup. Absolutely. Y yeah. And like if you're using that and then you molt, it has that, yes. Okay. Yes. Have an AoE around you where it is, yep, crowd controlling enemies. That, yep. <laughs> that is exactly what I want to see. Does not get much better than that. Um, little running dream. Gosh, I'm gonna change frame. What do I want to play as? Anything you guys want to see? This is why it's nice to have a choice, because I can just be like, eh, I played some chroma. Let's do some whatever. Yeah, that idea is pretty nuts. If they did, if they did that, mm, Mag Prime. Okay, we can do some Mag Prime. Although my Mag Prime looks a lot like regular old Mag, honestly. Uh, pull all the enemies. Okay. What is my build on Prime Mag? I don't remember. Oop. Uh, strength, efficiency, and range. Sound of this? Hmm. What is this build? Mm, yeah, I probably don't need continuity. What do I have here? And I haven't looked at Mag in a long time. It'd take to get that kind of build. Uh, let me go look at my Ember build and I can answer that question. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, for this one, this is my general leveling one. Firequake. It depends on if you're gonna play. Plat, yeah, pay plat or not. Hmm. Yeah, if you're gonna use plat, I'd say you could get this done in like. Well, if you're gonna spend all the plat, this can get done in like seven trades. Um. It depends. It really depends a lot. Uh, not that long, if especially if you are not going to like farm for quick thinking and you're going to trade for it instead, uh, then it's a pretty like quick bump up into Ember. It doesn't take uh, a super long time at all. Uh, let's go back to Mag Prime though. Transient, yeah, Transient's probably a good idea. And that fits perfectly. Awesome. That's probably what I was using. Oh, Rakta is maxed out. Do I have any other secondary weapons that need to be maxed? I have the Spira. Do I have mods in there? I have no mods in this yet. Awesome. Let's... Boop. Yeah, 63% critical chance. And then we'll put the damage in. I, get, I currently get more damage out of this. Space baboon. Yeah, I could see it. I can see this space baboon. Unfortunately, this is an arcane helmet, which means it is like 
just raw better. Am I wearing a syndicate thing? I am. Okay, good. Uh, let's do a capture and pull a guy around. I'll do an exterminate. I can exterminate some dudes. Uh, I have tried playing a little bit on consoles. Honestly, it is super hard to get used to. Like, like really hard to get used to. Like, the lower frame rate, like, just all this stuff. Like, controller bindings are so hard for me to get used to. Like, I've been playing a lot of Destiny and stuff on my PS4. But, like, every time I get on... Uh, Warframe on PS4, it is so strange. Like, it's just... It feels backwards, just because I've played on keyboard and mouse so much. And, like, I'm sure it's perfectly playable. Wow, these do considerable damage. Yeah, I transferred my account. Uh, my PSN is the same as my uh, channel, as it happens. Just Brozyme. Uh, my picture is of some random anime guy with with brown hair. I think he's got a like a coat on. Apparently, there are like multiple Brozymes or something. I think I was told that by somebody. Pull all the things. Oh yeah, this is why I'm using natural talent. Right, right. Right. <laughs> I do indeed have natural talent on that. I just remembered why. Yep. Natural talent is super helpful for spamming the one, like as hard as possible. And it, I think having a quick four is both good and bad now, since they changed it up a little bit. Oh, we actually have a guy. You know what I haven't been looking for that I should be? This little syndicate boobers. I think there's only two frames I usually run natural talent on. I think it's Necros and Mag. Mm, yep, I think it's it. Maybe one more. Mag Mag has been a very nerfed frame recently, which is why she doesn't see a lot of play. And I think she's actually super outclassed by Volt and Excal as like starter choices. So like you can totally play her and have a good time. But there's like a lot she can't do. Great against Corpus though. Always murders Corpus. Like if you're gonna go farm Triton, it's a like, fucking amazing time. I actually haven't updated like what my visuals are for Mag in a long time. She's using, like, my old, like, favorite Sandana. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They said that they're gonna work on, like, reworking Mag in more of a big way. Which I think will be good. As long as they keep Shield Polarized, I think that she could use, uh... Hmm. It adds to the walk speed and the hit rate on Chroma's one. It'll be interesting. Hmm. We can test that. I don't think it'll affect the walk speed, but it might affect like the number of hits. We can do some simulacrum and just like test some shit out if you guys want. That's a that's a bombardment. Oh, there's a Saren here. Right then. There, there's one of the things that's a problem with Mag. She's not Saren. Yeah, I don't think it'll interact with the walk speed, but it might affect like the number of hits. I don't use Spectral Scream very much, just because it doesn't scale well. They need to do more to like have abilities that are simple that scale. Oop, hello. Like, abilities that don't have any crowd control attached to them should scale. Ooh. 
He's still alive. Wow, that did no damage. Mag's theme is magnetism, though. And, like, mm, magnetic damage is fine. Like, it's not, like, perfect. And it's definitely always going to be better against Corpus. But I think having, like, one frame have an advantage over, a, like, a certain faction is fine. Uh, it's just that they can't be at such a heavy disadvantage against all the other factions. Like, obviously, Saren is, like, her four doesn't work as well on Corpus as it does on Grenier. But, like, the main reason we don't see that is because her damage is high enough and the Grenier are the most dangerous faction currently. So, we see a lot less of that. Ooh. Ooh. Like a different proc? I think if you added some impact to her four, well, not really impact either, because magnetic and impact kind of cancel each other out in terms of usefulness. Um, hmm. Her four could use some true damage, because you're, like, affecting the innards of your enemies. That'd be nice. Finishing damage? Because there's, like, a finisher, like, animation that kind of goes with it. Like, damage that goes through defenses is very, very rare right now in Warframe, so it'd be nice to have some more. Oh, yeah. The way her powers work are, like, really fun. It's just that she doesn't have enough. It's just her numbers that don't work, really. I think that's what it is. Because Saren's numbers work. Like, you buff Saren up, and she just goes nuts on it. Am I, like... How close am I to MR20? Okay. I am, like, 15 ranks away from MR20. Oh, yeah. I think they're, they're pushing towards frames being more... Hmm... Interactive? I don't know. I think the Mesa nerf might be too much, though. Well, you'd think she'd have some way to strip armor off, because it is armor. Like, if they added an augment to her one that was, like, rip the armor off enemies, she would see way more play. Like, instantly. Like, because armor is so annoying. That could be a thing. Let's do some Nyx. Nyx is fun. Oh, and someone earlier wanted to see my Dragon Kana build. This is just kind of my general Dragon Nakana build. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, and then this is my Dragon Nakana build for whenever I'm using Valkyr, because Prime Breach is the best. I think they need to cap armor somewhere, because there's that huge like gap between enemies being way too goddamn tough, which is whenever they have 
like tens of thousands of armor which is not okay and will never be okay like having an armor that's resisting 99 percent damage is like not a thing that should ever exist um but having them like have like having some resistance is fine like i think if we were capped at like say like 70 percent damage like reduction and then we could reduce armor i think that actually gives you a trade-off between reducing armor and um just building like a good damage type against it to kind of negate what they're defending against like they have to have some kind of cap like enemies need a cap on how much reduction they can have and we don't need the cap because our armor doesn't scale indefinitely because like it's not fun to do one damage to an enemy who's level 9000 even though you've got the best stuff in the game like that's the especially frustrating part is whenever you've like got a maximized like lex build and you shoot an enemy and you do five damage If they just did, like, a universal pass, like, whenever they're talking about reworking damage and stuff, if they do, like, a big universal pass on, like, everything in the game and, like, rebalance how things work and uh, give enemies, like, a set end point where it's, like, these guys are gonna fuck you up and then scale difficulty based on how an enemy works and, like, the mechanics they introduce more than based on how much instant kill damage they can do to you or how much they don't take damage at all and don't care that would be nice like there are there are enemies that i have some minor problems with that i think are good for the game right but like that's what I'm, okay slater here's the thing i'm talking about is um whenever enemies have so much armor it's the reason you bring four corrosive projections but I think that you could introduce more variety by having enemy armor capped at something reasonable. Well, let's do... Also, I think that they could take Corrosive Projection out of the game if they did it correctly and actually wanted to balance things. And I think that they should take Energy Siphon out of the game and just put it on our Warframe because having it is just, like, it improves the way the game flows. Yeah. Yeah, getting rid of stuff that becomes mandatory is good. But, like, you have to look at the reasons that things become mandatory. Like, sometimes it's obvious. Like, whenever you have Hornet Strike, this adds raw damage. You're doing this no matter what. Like, no matter... Like, you're adding raw damage. Of course. Like, that's going to be a required mod. But, like, you have other things that are, like, fixing problems with the game. Like, if an enemy has 99% damage resistance because of armor, and you find a way to completely get rid of armor... That fixes the problem of it being not fun to fight an enemy who has 99% damage resistance. But if you have an enemy that has, say, like 60 or 70% damage resistance, it's like, oh, well, that guy's tough. That heavy gunner is just a tough enemy. Like, you don't have it be like, well, this enemy is basically impossible to kill. Oh, yeah, no, it's super hard. Don't, don't get me wrong by, like, trying to say, like, I'm not trying to say this is easy to do balancing a game and how players interact with enemies and like especially when you have hundreds of mods it is so hard to know how every like combination of mods and stuff will work and what hmm, and like what will be your new meta like whenever they introduce the soma i don't i don't think that like whenever they introduced the soma they realized that it was going to be as good as it was because maybe they didn't, like, think about how weapons are perceived and how critical damage scales. And there's, like, a lot of stuff that's easy to overlook. But balancing a game is, like, hilariously hard.
These are a little slow. I probably should have brought something leveled up. Oh, well. Tombo is fine. I'm sure it's fine. Nyx Prime is great. I love Nyx Prime. Nyx Prime's, um, what are we calling them? Deluxe skins? Because it is just wonderful. Also, the changes that they've recently made to Nyx, she is not getting en enough credit. Oh yeah, bosses have like a huge problem with like immunity stuff. Immunity is the absolute worst. Like let Krill, that boss is not fun. Like if it, it like that let Krill fight is. Like let's compare like if you compare the Let Krill fight to um Lephantis, the clear winner is Lephantis. Like Lephantis is a little buggy and probably like could use a little more testing to get the uh like the hit zones right for its weak points. But like overall I think that boss is way better than Let Krill. Because Le Let Krill's fight is just waiting. Like you're just waiting. Like if you know what to do, you're just waiting for that boss. Like, to finish his animation so that you can kill him. Or to finish his uh, timer. Like, literally a timer. And the same kind of goes for, um... Boss of Saturn protecting Ember's parts. Like, that boss fight is really weak. Because you're just waiting for, like, the big glowing spot just to open up on him. And, like, there's nothing that you're, like, making him do. You're just waiting for it to open up and letting him shoot fire everywhere. Like, if they made that, like... Actually, I think you could fix the boss on Saturn by giving him a special arena. Like, give him a special arena. And then, like, the thing that you have to do is bring that boss to, like, um... Like, heat vents. Like, and have, like, a ton of heat hit him, which opens all of his weak points up that you need to kill. Like, having a boss fight where you're doing something the whole time is important. Because, like, if you're not doing something the whole time, then it's, there, there, like, downtime during a boss fight is not a thing that there should be unless it's a cutscene. Medallion, medallion. And then the basis for like the mechanic that I like just said is actually already in the game, and it's a, would be good to teach players that kind of stuff early on. Oh yeah, I actually think Jackal is really fun because like Jackal, you are always doing something. You're either dodging his attacks, which like there's a legitimate way to get around all of his stuff. You're always, like, able to dodge it. There's no, like... Yep, die. One moment. I want to get this lawful medallion. Yeah. But yeah, Jackal, I feel, is, like, super fun. I'm totally on the same page with you there. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, uh, with, um, with the raid, you have, like, those vents, and, like, this is, like, more team-oriented than that, where you have to, like, bring the bomb and, like, get the vents to, like, shoot him and stuff. Um, but having, like, a simplified version of that be... God, what is his name? The guy who guards Ember on Saturn. Um... I don't remember his name. Man, what is it? God. Can't remember. Not even a little bit can I remember. Ah, Tal Regor. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Small tea time between animations. Yeah, that sounds about right. Are we about to run out of air?
Ah, oh, they activated. Awesome. Yeah, Tile Rigor would definitely benefit from, like, a way to activate his stuff that kind of teaches you about that raid mechanic. Because, like, one of the other things that's actually really important, and this is kind of, like, cross-video game stuff. General Sargus Ruck, is that it? Oh, yeah. Shit. It's Sargus Ruck. It's not Tile Rigor. Sargus Ruck is the fire guy. Damn, it's so hard to keep all these names straight. Three in that area, okay. Yeah, if you if you had like an introductory mechanic. Anyway, I am scatterbrained right now. Um but like basically like the cross video game thing I was talking about is like having a way to teach players what they should be doing, like without having to spell it out for them is really important. I am super worried about that Stalker rework. That Stalker rework worries me to all ends. Because, like, as Stalker stands right now, like, he's just a gun battle, which is fine. But, like, he just shows up and you can't use your powers against him. So, like, the point of your Warframe is negated when he shows up, which I think kind of sucks. And I hopefully they don't, like, double down on that thing because I don't think it's super great. I do want it to be good though. Wow, look at all these enemies. Let me just let me just do this. Oh, this fucking guy. Fuck you, Null Combo. That is the first time I have ever seen one of those dudes. Oh yeah, the first time I tried the raid, I was absolutely just shooting at him like super good. That is definitely a thing that is really annoying. And the, the pro like part of it is that he just totally negates anything you try and do. You went invisible, Stalker knows. You put on iron skin, Stalker doesn't give a fuck. Like it's all that wow, another combo. That is that's legitimately like the first couple combo I have ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a problem that Stalker can just like turn the game into Gears of War instantly. That's, it's just, mm. Cause like, if you, if you build an enemy that takes out the unique part of the game, like just on like a huge level, that's no good. And I forgot how tanky my Nyx was. I actually don't think nullifiers are a problem. I think there is like some tweaks that can be made to make it so that nullifiers are more well understood and make it so that more things are like viable in order to fight them that aren't powers. But like they work in a small area. They're not like hunters that just like look at you and it's like, no, you can't do that. You can't, you can't do that thing. It's a small area of effect that's better. And I, I know a lot of people really 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 they really hate nullifiers like a lot also i'm talking to the chat window not you guys hello hi i always forget where my camera is and then i just talk to uh, words on the screen instead super healthy mental stability it's great Is this? I know what this is. Mm. 
The Vacor Heck is great. I know what this is. This is my Mantis. This is how my Mantis is represented right here, apparently. That's a- that is a fun bug. This is part of why I like getting new items, like, early. Oh yeah, I think if you have, like, a meter of punch through, it should go through the bubble. Or alternatively, it, it sh the bubble shouldn't be staged. That's one of the problems with it. And it's why certain weapons are better against nullifiers. How close am I now? Wow, that's really close. Uh, and what I mean by staged is like you can hit one part, like one stage of the bubble as it gets smaller. With as much damage as you want, it'll only go down one stage. That shit needs to pop instantly if you deplete its whole health pool in one shot. That would be super cool. Actually, do you guys want to do some Arcwing? I'm not against some Arcwing. Like, since they've changed up Arcwing, it's actually not bad. <coughs> also, having, like, a secondary thing for your landing craft to, like, come in and do, um, like, big passes in Arcwing would be super cool. Probably only have it work in certain modes, though, because whenever you're, like, in the bowels of a Corpus ship, I don't think that would play super well visually. Alright. Chroma and Natural Talent. We should do that. Okay, so minus Natural Talent right now. We'll probably move Rage. That'll be the one we'll move. Okay. I wonder if the fashion police are on uh, on this relay. They probably are. Oh, I didn't even look. I was looking at chat. Yep, everybody just stands around with all their stuff and does dances and things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do... Oh. Send me has to not be able to kill me instantly. I'm gonna do like, okay. We'll do max level. And... What's an enemy that doesn't fight? Oh yeah, oh man, Mirage, no Mirage Noble Stance Rhino, funny every time, every single time. Hmm. Moroccan Drone, I don't know if this will die instantly. It's gonna be level 95, maybe it won't die instantly, where are you at buddy? Alright. Four seventy and then three thirteens. Quiet shy vid? Oh yeah, no, this damage is awful. We're just testing an interaction. Yeah, this damage is absolutely trash. Uh, I don't think spe like spectral scream does not scale at all. Uh, we're just testing to see if natural talent uh, increases my walk speed or anything. 
I will have some obvious butt sways if it does. I wish it was easier to switch builds or to get to the uh, simulacrum, either or. Didn't, um, did Shy get her channel back? Because it was like, I know it was a big deal on the Warframe Reddit that like Shy's channel got like completely nuked from orbit and she had to start a new one. So I don't know, like did she get her actual channel back? Because if not, that really sucks. Oh, good. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yep. I don't know. I, I hate seeing that happen to, like, uh, any YouTuber, obviously, but I don't, I don't know the whole story, obviously. Like, if she did some, like, weird copyright stuff or on, like, private videos or something, then there's nothing to be done about it, unfortunately. But... Oh yeah, short videos upload real good. Long videos not so much. Which is why usually, usually, under normal circumstances, uploading is like Monday while I'm at work. Uh, but uh, that did not did not work out as intended. Which is why the stream is happening. But uh, I'm glad that I can talk to everybody. I, don't know. I I have tried to make streaming a thing that I do in the past, but never really. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to stream. It's mostly weird because I'm not used to it, and I really like being able to cut things whenever I say dumb shit. That's a huge bonus of having videos that are editable. You can say something real stupid and then be like, nah, 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 that never happened. Okay, let's get one of these guys to simulate. Come here, little buddy. Nope, that seems to be the same speed. Although I think it sped up my animation of getting into this. Like just going into it, I think it comes out faster. I think it'd be nice just to have a simulacrum button uh, in the arsenal. Like, I don't really see a reason why it's not there, honestly. But I know the simulacrum is probably something that a lot of players don't really use. But, like, if I'm right here and I hit select mode, why isn't one of these simulacrum if I have the key? Like, that seems. I don't know. That seems like what you would want out of, like, a testing mode. Which idea would we toss up to D to see if it has the channeling stuff? Having natural talent work on them? What's up, Milvino? Let, let's do let's do some Arcwing stuff. Arcwing can be fun sometimes. Probably some easy Arcwing. Yo, 
Yo, I need to try this thing. Look how cool this weapon is. Look at this. Ember has been getting used now. Although, there's still like that stigma like lingering that Ember sucks. Uh, but since her changes, she's actually pretty good. For all these alerts. Sabotage. Now let's do this. Oh yeah. I have heard some really good things about the Grattler, so I'm hoping I'm not disappointed right now, because I haven't used it yet. Alright, it is immediately level 1. Got it. That's damage, okay. <sighs> How's his name is Geo, dude? I could get behind that. Flippin's got AoE to it, doesn't it? I actually have my full swarm now. A part of me wishes I picked up that, uh... Prime Arcwing mod, and then the other part of me is like, dude, you don't need to level that. Time to go fast. I love the afterburners in Arcwing now. They make this, like, just feel so much better. I am fairly up to date on Pokemon. I don't know all the Pokemon. Can't do that. Although, okay. Interesting thing for chat. What? Take your favorite frame and then tell me what Pokemon they are right now. I just want to know. I think it'll be interesting to see like what frames are what Pokemon. That's kind of fun. This Growler is all right. My special results. Banshee is Zubat. Okay. We're off to a good start here. Oh, man. <laughs> Mirage is Mr. Mime. Okay. I get behind that. Ember is camera upped. Okay. I'm like stalling for time because I don't know. Uh, I, I cannot like decide which frame is my favorite right now. <laughs> Paris is Saren. Nyx is Alakazam. Okay. Excalibur is Aegis Slash. I'm gonna go with that one. Let's do some Excal, actually. That sounds fun. Excal is Ash. Elaborate.
Mesa is Onyx? Okay, hold on, wait a minute. I think, I think Chroma kind of has to be, um, oh, what is it? It's the, war it's the Pokemon that can change through, like, all the elements. Eevee, there you go. That's it. Can evolve into all the different elements. There you go. That's it. What do we got here? An Arkling defense? Ain't nobody doing that. Actually, we could do some underwater tile set. That'll give us a little bit of everything. Necros is Haunter? Okay. Or both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Silver Rose? Yeah, it definitely does mean that Equinox is definitely Umbreon and Espeon. I will 100% get behind that. That seems like... Those things are here, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah. Vaubon, Vaubon. If we're just going for like straight, like uh, just like raw difficulty, because like there's no real way to like work towards it. Um, probably Mesa in terms of just long farm. Vaubon is Batman. Okay. Wait, are there any are there any Pokemon that use gadgets? Hmm. Wow, oh, where am I going? Uh are there stairs? That figures. Yeah, I know, yeah, you can get those, um, things from ODD now for Mesa, but that's still super long. How do I get out of here? What is the actual, oop. Alright. Rhyhorn, oh yeah, Rhino, well you'd be Rhydon, Rhydon is like the halfway point between a Rhyhorn and a Machoke. This guy named, Mag is Magnemite, that's appropriate.
I'm not seeing any Grenier caches. Look at how good this tile set is. Wait, can I just jump into this? No, oh, the answer is no. Yep, Mesa is definitely still super long. I'm glad they made it shorter slash easier. Why is this open? For what purpose? I feel like this room has something to it, and I just don't know. Oh well. Oh, these guys just don't know. Man, no one can say Atlas isn't fun, though. His one is the greatest. Who do you think will be the next Prime frame to be to be vaulted? Um, Ember Prime just got vaulted, so I think next is Rhino. I think it's Rhino next, right? If I'm not mistaken, he's the one that came out next, so he should be the next vaulted. Yes, uh, Saren Prime is the next Prime, which means that we will not be getting Banshee Prime anytime soon. Valkyr could be Hitmonchan, that's interesting. Uh, whoa, what is this? Oberon is Psyduck. No, Oberon would be, uh... Shit, what is it called? Um, Shaman? I think it's called Shaman. That thing. Just because Oberon needs a buff. Stantler. That's actually better. Yes. All frames with Brutal Tide are hit on top. Yeah, Stantler. That's really appropriate. I went with Shaman just because I feel like Oberon needs a buff, but definitely Stantler. Oh, uh, I'm on PC right now, but I do have a PS4 account. Oberon is Mr. Mine? Hmm. What? Okay. Here we go. Here's the all. Here's the ultimate. What is your favorite bird Pokemon? Which bird is Zephyr? There. I. I have a correct answer to this one. Talon Flame, okay. Pidgeot, okay. These are respectable answers. Flies down at Pex people's faces. Pe eh, Pex people's faces, okay. Yeah, my answer is Hall Lucha, because you dive bomb motherfuckers, like you're a Lucha wrestler. And like, just the way she looks. And Hall Lucha stands upright. And Hall Lucha is silly and dumb. Mega Pidge is Mega Pidgeot a thing? I'm gonna need somebody to drop a link in this chat if Mega Pidgeot is a real thing. Ah, I'm fucked. 
Wow. Hmm. Well then. I'm about to click that Mega Pidgeot link. Oh. Not looking at the screen is super, super good. I'm great at it. I'm great at not looking at the screen. That thing is up here, isn't it? It totally is. How do I? Man, I don't remember how to get down here. Here we go. Get punched. De poison. I wonder if a Manic Bombard can be taken down easily. Dude, I remember PSO. Honest, honestly, if Fantasy Star Online 2 like came over here, when I, I think it was around the time it was supposed to, I probably would be playing that instead of Warframe. Oh, here's the Manic Bombard. Okay, so it turns out Ash trashes the shit, not Ash, Atlas trashes the shit out of Manic Bombards. Got it. That's good to know. Please buff Atlas's four to make him a frame we can actually play. Dude, P oh man, PSO was so good. I love PSO. I could probably play that right now. Volt is Electabuzz. I could go with that. Right, I'm gonna get out of here. This tile, this tile set is too confusing for me looking at chat and then also navigating. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, not Alice. Geodude. PSO is so good. All we need is PSO too. You can guarantee, I can 100% guarantee to everyone right now, if PSO 2 comes out over here, there will be videos made for it on the channel. That's like probably almost 100% chance. All right, while I'm waiting for this timer, let me look at this Mega Pidgeot. Alright, that's a really cool, that's a really cool Pokemon. That's a really cool Pokemon. Alright, yeah, Zephyr is that. Confirmed, Zephyr is that, for sure. Am I at it yet? 404 until we're there. I heard City of Heroes was really good. That was kind of before I was like into um, a lot of like massively multiplayer stuff. That was like, hmm. I feel like that was more when I was into games like Oblivion and stuff like that. Let's see here. Let's just go on like an experience run. Cause I wanna I I don't know what the Master Rank 20 test is, because I uh I have not gone to check it out, so we'll find out. Uh, we'll do run one run on Kappa and that should get me where I need to go. Operator, are 
Are you enjoying the view? Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, uh, okay, so. Those servers, I think, are in India, and you could get into them for, like, a short period of time from the U.S., but they're not, like, an official translation, and there are changes to the game that are, like, for that audience. I only need, like, five levels, though. This will this will do just fine. And Atlas is really good at this mission actually. He kinda has everything you could like realistically want in order to like make short work of this place. Although I did bring the wrong uh aura mod. Twenty is Arcwing. Oh, re wait, really? Oh shit. Okay, I'm glad I have Arcwing stuff leveled. Uh, is it just like a battle or um... Geo, dude? I'm gonna keep forgetting. Oh man, the ones that don't reverse direction get me every time now. There we go. 20 is Arquin. Is it just a sky battle? Is it in like that weird... It's interception. Hmm. Hmm. That'll be interesting. I should be able to do it pretty easily. Someone shoot Geodude and give me the energies. Oh, there we go. Good enough. Thank you, Power Fist. But I have a viral proc. What gave me a viral proc? Oh, yeah. I will absolutely be using the Itzel. I think the Itzel is like the best arc wing hands down. Like, not even a question. Rumblers are pretty good at low-level stuff. They're a little slow. But they don't die in low-level stuff, so there's that. And ain't this drought of energy. Can I get some energy around here? This is what I mean about, like, Energy Siphon should be, like, a standard thing. Because, like, whenever you just get screwed like this, it really, really sucks.
There's some energy. It's actually a fair bit of energy. In terms of leveling Arcwing stuff quickly, mm, I have a lot of bad answers for you. Uh, until you get like an Arcwing maxed and like a primary or a melee max, there's not really a good way. Like leveling up all your melees, you basically get your um, primary and your Arcwing and just level. When did I start playing? Um, God, it was the day that it launched on Steam. So I get like the day that it came out of closed beta, I suppose. Uh, whenever that was. That's probably two years ago. More than that. Probably like, probably, wow. Probably a long time ago. I'd have to check. I've been, I put a lot of time to this game, but it's like worth it. Like I've had fun like pretty much the entire time. I wish I was in the closed beta, then I would have uh, I would have those vandal weapons, which would be nice, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I probably actually now if I had started sooner, I probably would have stopped playing based on like what I know about stuff that happened in the closed beta. But like, at the same time, I would have wanted to see what it became whenever it went into open. And like it, there are so many improvements that constantly get made in this game. That it's like it's kind of hard to say that like I would stop playing. It's because like that's probably not true. You could actually crouch stealth through maps. Cause stealth right now is not a thing, unless you're Loki or Ash, in which case you're doing like fake stealth, like an invisibility is stealth in, like, the same way a nuke is small arms. Yeah. I liked Mass Effect for a while. I don't know. I really liked Mass Effect 1. I feel like they took out a lot of the stuff that I was enjoying whenever Mass Effect 2 came out. And, like, I still had fun with Mass Effect 2. Uh, and then by the time I got to three, I just I just didn't even finish it, which was apparently a good thing because people really did not like the ending to that game, and they had to like fix it. So I, I would be really sour on Mass Effect. I feel like if I had actually finished that game. It involved a lot of luck. Man, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Luck and RNG? I mean, I, don't, I, haven't, I have no experience with those things. <laughs> uh, that being said, like, Luck is... I don't know. There, a little bit of, like, I don't know. There's certain things that I think them being down to Luck is totally fine. Like, it depends on what you're hiding behind luck. Like, I don't really mind prime stuff being behind, uh... Luck. For example. Because you don't need prime stuff. Now, okay, Mass Effect 3's multiplayer was real good.
I think I actually bought a different copy of the game to play that with people. Like, I think I got it on PC and then bought it on 360 or something just to play with others. Did I just not get enough levels? Oh, I'm gonna be real sour if I didn't get enough levels to do this, like, next thing. How far away am I? Man. Man. All right. <sighs> Let's do... Anybody wanna like see any other specific frames that I haven't like messed around with yet maybe? <laughs> Oberon. We can do some Oberon. Oberon is the slam dunk master. Not in this outfit. There we go. Oberon Prime. Ash Prime. No, you cheeky bastard. I do not have Ash Prime yet, unfortunately. Oh, very unfortunately. Uh, I think the big event that's coming with them blowing up the star chart is because the star chart is supposed to come in update 18, and that's going to come with the big like question answering... Um, story stuff, which I think is going to be the big event. Uh, I really like how Oberon looks. I really do. Mm. He's very, yeah, Pancake Clipper. That's, yep. Uh, Smite Infusion is a really good mod on him. I am using Energy Siphon on this guy, right? I'm using rifle amp apparently. Okay. Let's take that out, take that out. What do I have room for? I have six. Boop, there we go. I lost 300 health, but it's worth it. Yeah, I think I'm missing two Ash Prime parts. I think I'm missing the helmet and the blueprint. I think that's it. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, hmm. back to Kappa. Let me go back. I don't know. I've never done Draco with Oberon, so let's go do that, actually. Boop, boop. There we go. Uh, there will be some cutscene elements in, um,. The update 18 quest so that is going to answer these potential questions like what the 10 OR and stuff. Uh, they've talked about that a little bit on the dev streams. I think that's going to be really interesting. I don't know if it's going to be like your kind of like half cutscene style like you'd get with like Gears of War where you'd still be able to walk around and stuff or if it's going to be like a full in-depth type cutscene like that they've done with um, their promotional stuff. Uh, but I know for sure it'll be it'll be something. It'll be something significant. Because like all the cutscenes we've gotten for like the promotional stuff have been really, really cool, and like the Tenno Live cutscene, all that stuff. That Tenno Live thing, like that, I think that's kind of the reason that like my channel became more of a thing, I guess. Like, I did that Tenno Live video, and, like, everybody seemed to, like, really like it, and then that just kind of kick-started it. Hello, everyone. There's our fourth. It will probably be like that. That would, yeah, that would be nice. Is somebody gonna hit this button? Here we go. Hmm. 
spear are pretty good. Really? The Grust? Now the Grust? Alright, time to slam and jam the Grust. Showing up. Oh, there he is. There's one of them. Boom. Flip the pancakes before they burn. Yep. Charles Barkley's jeans. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. How many how many people in this chat have seen the um like Charles Barkley JRPG that is a thing? Oh, I'm not paying attention. That game, okay. That game is genius, and it is hilarious. And unfortunately, I watched someone else play through it, so like I know everything that happens to it, or happens in it rather. So it wouldn't be uh, great for me to like play through it or something. But that that game is a real gem. And there's going to be a second one of that. God, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I'm, pro I'm pretty sure if you look up Charles Barkley, uh, JRPG, you will get exactly what I'm describing. I think I'm going to extract after one run of this. Yes. No. Not the scorpions. Man, I should have been more responsible and brought a better gun.
That's the best thing about it. Stolen sprites are the greatest thing about that game. Whoa, here we go. Let's just let's just heal a little bit. Games that just jack, like, messed up sprites from, like, all kinds of different games and art styles. It's just fantastic. Warhammer Vermintide. I have not played it. I have looked at it. Uh, I, have, I have been considering getting it. I'm not 100% sure. And I, and, I, and I have been slightly pressured to get it. Holy shit, though. Okay. The Last Man 87. Salty Bet is... Too good. It is on the level where it is too good. That needed to exist, like, when, like, the day Twitch launched, Salty Bet needed to be a thing. You have to flip them before they burn. Oh, man. Oh, I just think fighting games in general are great. Obviously, for people that, like, don't care or have, like, played a bunch of fighting games or anything like that, uh, it's way worse. And I'm not trying to, like... Yeah, there are always a bunch of people watching it, though. And, like, Salty Bet is still going to be Salty Bet. But a part, part of it is, like, the upset in the chat that is part of the great part about that. Like, that's, like, part of the reason I sit down and watch that, is because the upset. Because, like, it's just, like, real betting, except for without the actual destroyed lives. Like, the upset is hilarious, as opposed to, like, life ruining for people who are addicted to gambling. <laughs> Which is, a uh, a huge plus, as you might imagine. Yeah, Mugen, Mugen is a weird thing, which is why it is Salty Bet now. Alright, this round is going much better. Everyone get on the floor, come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Oh, oh, there we go. Hey, wait, the Convectrix is at 30 already? How close was it before? I feel like it was at like 22. Oh yeah, there's going to be some insane shit. That workshop is going to be filled with insane shit. Like just completely crazy nonsense. And it's going to be awesome. And someone is going to sneak dick butt onto a gun. You can be rest assured. And for anyone that doesn't know what that is, I sound like an absolute insane person. But for those of you that know, you know it's going to happen. I have similarly seen that Amprex. That's a real good skin. User joined your channel. Whoa, who joined your channel? What's up, Nick? What's going on? Not much. Streaming the Warframes. Speed decks. How long are you going to be doing that? Uh, I don't know. Probably like another hour. Um, alright. 
chat. This is Nick. Why? What's up? What's going on, Nick? Are we gonna um, do that? Uh, that special stuff in uh, Destiny that I was talking about yesterday with the ghosts. Uh, at some point, I just solo fought my way to the end of the nightfall. What? I'm I'm sitting here right before the last boss in the nightfall, and my Titan scared to start it because I'm alone. Okay. Uh. All right. Yeah, I, I did that. Chat, do you want to see some Destiny? <laughs> oh man, I would have to switch the stream over to my Elgato, which wouldn't be a huge deal. Uh. I don't know. I, I will probably just do that later, though. I, how long are you like willing to sit at the Nightfall? Like, do you have like YouTube and stuff you can watch? I can, so I'm just gonna make sure- I just gotta make sure I don't forget to keep moving or else it'll return me to orbit and then I'll kill myself. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Brock, or Brian, will be around in a bit. He's playing Warframe, or War Thunder at the moment with J uh, James, James, so. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Chat is not in the mood for the Destinies, so that will have to wait. Right. Yeah, but I, I'm down to do that like before uh, I sleep and see if my videos for the day that have been up that have been pro dude Okay, so Nick cool. I Uploaded I started uploading stuff at like 2 a.m. on Monday like the beginning of Monday They are still processing all four videos are still processing I don't know what's happening, but my little like uh, like I'm streaming update came out immediately, instantly done processing. And like, granted, it's only like 40 seconds, but still. Yeah. That sounds pretty pretty harsh. Yeah. By the way, the uh, strikes the dust palace, so you're aware. Oh, good. Yeah. So it's just the three Scion players. I'm at the Cortex. I just haven't, you know, hacked into it to kick them out. Yeah, I, I can see how that could be scary as a single person. Oh. But uh, just let me know when you're done. I'm gonna bounce back to the other channel. Okay, later, man. User left to a channel. What's up, Nukex? Problem with what? I'm gonna heal the party. Yes, that is a... Oh yeah, yeah, the processing, I'm probably going to delete one of the videos and try and re-upload it and see if it gets done faster, because I'm not exactly sure what's up with it. The problem is like one of the videos is like three and a half hours long, and no, that is not my, that is not a Warframe video. <laughs> I will try and keep Warframe videos generally a little shorter than that. Yeah. Uploading a three and a half hour long video is some stuff. Yeah, the other stuff will have to will have to be checked with. Damn! Thank you for staying up and hanging out in Timmer. Yeah, yeah, Timmer. Okay, that's correct. Later. Seven a.m. Oh, shit, 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 heal. There we go. That's the healing. That's the healing juice that I needed. Oh, hey. Uh, this is actually, like, a good time to get, like, out. This is a good time for me to look to the right and instantly die. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Uh, what does everybody, like, think of, like, 
other games to play on the channel? Like, what is everybody, like, interested in, maybe, to see? Because, like, it's hard to get a feel for what people want to see. So, if you guys have suggestions, it would be awesome to hear them. Because, like, obviously, uh, I've been doing, like, The Witcher and stuff, and I've kind of slowed down on that, because I'm not sure, like, if that's what people want. Obviously, more Warframe is always in the works, because, like, this game is, like, an easy 25, 30 hours of my life every week. Um, I'm going to extract on this one. PS Fantasy Star Online? Hmm... Is, is Fantasy Star Online, like, still up? But yeah. And, like, Nier, Nier is getting close to finishing up, but uh, there are some other games that are like it that I could play, too. Like, I have some uh, Dragon Guard games and stuff. Hacked servers for PSO. That might be interesting. Hmm. Yeah. New releases are in this hat, too. Like, it doesn't just have to be games that I have been playing. Uh, like, tons of games come out every day. Like, Vermintide. As somebody said, like, if you guys wanted to see some Vermintide, I'm totally down for that game. Uh, Convectrix is max... This is going to be Arcwing stuff. I'm going to take the Nux. That shit is going to be the greatest. I, I have not played a single Platinum game that I have disliked. Like, they are, have all been so quality. And after playing Nier, which that game's... That game's great. That game's awesome. Like, combat may be a tiny bit weak. Other than that, that game's amazing. And actually, the, uh, in the second half of the game, the combat gets way, way stronger. So I can't even say that it's weak. Like, if they're going to do combat in Nier 2 and, like, do something with that, it's going to be... It's going to be outstanding. Okay, Imperator Vandal, the Itzel, Atlas, Rejuvenation is on. Whenever, whenever that comes out, that's probably gonna get, it's probably gonna get some playtime. I have played Transformers Devastation. Uh, I have the stream archive of like I just sat down and played through that whole game uh, on the last time I was streaming. And I don't, I don't think I did, like, a very good job of, like, getting the word out about that one. Uh, I played through all of that. That game is great. I think Bumblebee might be too strong, though, in comparison to the other Transformers. I think that might be a tiny problem with the game. Other than that, like, that game has a lot, a lot going for it. I'm probably going to play some more. What packs do I need for your palette? I can go check that right now. Uh, Smoke, I know, is one of them for sure. Uh, and the yellow that I use is in fire, but I know in Tenno there are some ones that are very close, or Arokan rather. Like this is my yellow. There's some like deeper ones. Yeah, in Arokan there's ones that are very, very close. Uh, if you do smoke and fire, you can get the ones I use the most. And then if we go over here, which one is it in fire, actually? It is this one in fire is the yellow that I'm usually using. Uh, and then this one, they're all favorited. I think those ones are, yeah, the brown I use is in storm. Uh, two of the colors I use are in tenno. Oh yeah, I love the colors that I use, they're great. Which, okay, yeah, humble brag. Humble brag, my colors that I use that I picked are great. I, okay, I really like that Legend of Korra game, and I think part of it is because I really like Avatar, but the other part of it is because Earthbending in that game felt fucking great. Like, anyone who's playing Warframe on PC, if you get on Steam and see that that game is on sale, 
play that game. That game's so fun. I thought it was so good. Like, for, obviously for the price. So fun. Oh, man. So, oh, wait, no. I don't need to go into this. It's time to rank up. We're going to, we're going to MR20, everybody. Going to MR20 finally today. Doing it. If someone lied to me about this being Arcwing, I'm going to be very angry. All right. No one did. Oh, navigate this course before the timer expires. So do I just have to... Oh, okay. Somebody said this was interception. They lied to me. Do I just have to get here? I'm glad I could help, man. Our Rito Basu is the person I'm replying to specifically. Uh, it's always nice to hear that my like videos can help people like learn the game because that's the goal, obviously. Yeah, that is a uh, that's a weird mastery test, and now I'm finally in MR20. The late which one is the latest Prince of Persia game? I completely fell off at like the two crowns or princes or whatever it was. But I really just burned through all of my mastery already. That I, not mastery, uh, rep that I could get. What was supposed to be hard? The mastery test. Two thousand eight and a revamp. Hmm. I gotta miss that one. I know I really enjoyed the first Prince of Persia game. Although, that was like, nine-year-old babby bros I'm just hanging out like, Prince of Persia, I'm nine, what is this? Ooh, it's a prince, the Persia? Yeah, the master tests are generally pretty easy. I think, maybe if you brought the elytra on that one would be kind of hard, and you'd have to go slow. Since, uh, that, they probably did that before. Dual type comment. 2008 was good and weird. Is it on Steam? I might pick it up and like try it out. I could throw that on one of those video series that I don't do very often, like FUBAR or something. This dog has just been sitting here and has gotten no play. No one has pet this dog in forever. And he's a good dog. I really like the improvements they made to the Kubro. Like they're still very expensive, but they're definitely a lot better. Uh, yeah, let's let's mod out this Convectrix to see what it can like actually accomplish here. Last damage, shell shock, toxic. You might buy it for negative money. Oh man, someone has someone has been paid money to take a game on Steam before. I'm sure. I am sure of it. Oh, it's a reboot. Yeah, whenever they reboot games, especially whenever you have like a catalog like Steam, things can get really, really weird. Like if they ever decide to like reboot Splinter Cell, all those Splinter Cell games before that will like still be on Steam. So it'll just be called Splinter Cell, and then you'll have things that look like sequels that are from like nine years ago, which is really weird. Uh. Although, warning to like anyone who likes Splinter Cell or something and wants to get them on Steam, none of that multiplayer stuff works, and they're Ubisoft titles, so they're not not great on not great on PC. Not not a best time. 
Seeking Fury. Should I try and use this? Blast build for the heck. Actually, I could use this right here. Boop. What do you mean no? Oh wait, this is a V polarity. Never mind. So many V polarities. Hmm. Eh, this is fine. Spira, we can get these critical mods in here. This is actually going to be kind of gross. For the heck of it. Uh, let's see here. Tons of multi shot. Good critical. Yeah. Uh, yeah, whips have. St I don't know if I have any of the whip stance mods. I can find out. Actually, I got rid of the Adorax. Do I have any whips right now? I know I never really liked whips. Hmm. I got rid of all my whips, so that's no good. Hmm. Right. Hmm. I got rid of all my whips. I should not have done that. That was a bad decision on my part. I should not have done that. I probably should have kept the Adorax. Or the Scoliac. Probably the Scoliac. Do I not have the Scoliac? Would I really have gotten rid of the Scoliac? I really got rid of the Scoliac. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? All right, we're taking the dog. What's up going? Yeah. What's going on, Yami Saito? Yami Saito? Yami Saito. That is how I'm going to choose to pronounce that. Please tell me if that's wrong. Uh, let's see here. Lifesteal Link. Probably better than Shield Link. Also, how was your horrible day farming? Like, how bad are we talking here? Like, got nothing but... God, what's the worst... What's the worst possible thing to get? You can't get Sycharis parts anymore, so that's not the worst thing you could get. Nothing but, like, Carrier Prime Blueprints. That's what I'm gonna go with. Just Carrier, pl carrier Prime Blueprints. Or just Forma. I'm gonna say that's like the worst. That's like as bad as it could get. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is amazing. You got everything except for the Nova Prime parts. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I had to buy my like final uh, Nova Prime part. Bronco?
Mm, yeah, Bronco parts. In about seven hours of farming, that is especially bad. Are you just looking for like one specific Nova Prime part, or is it like two parts that are just like, fuck you? Why am I going to the relay? That's not what I want. Let's do deception. Sure, deception, that'll work. have to be the systems. I think that's actually the part I bought, so I wouldn't even be surprised. Chassis and the systems. Yeah. Yeah, it seems about right. Let's go. I think the, uh, the ACK, wait now, the Bronco Blueprint is the one that is the bane of my existence. Which sucks because it's worth like nothing. All right, we can see how much damage these Spira do. I love this room. A room that has like interactive environments is the greatest. Like you blow open this wall, this is the best. Six volt prime helms, all right. Uh, that's the nightmare. out the Convectrix a little bit more. Probably going to be pretty good. Uh, Volt is planned to get some touch-ups, not necessarily a full rework, I think. I imagine he would come after Mag, who is probably after Saren. That's gonna be, that's a guess. That is not a guarantee. Despite what maybe a couple people think, I do not work for DE. But that, that, that would be, that's my predicted. That's my prediction. Man. How cool would it be though? Well, actually I don't know about that. Like, to work at DE, I kinda just like the game. Like working there might not be like crazy good because they have to produce a lot of content. Weird firing pattern guns are the ones that are the hardest to, like, review. And especially since, like, beam weapons got kind of nerfed. There was a point where the Fluctus, not Fluctus, um, the Flux rifle was really good. I died. Alright. There it is. So let's continue using the Spira. Please, no. Die. There we go. Oh, we dropped a mod. Fusion Core. What if I just got Gaia's Tragedy right now? That'd be... That'd be gross. That's what that would be, actually. Oh, what do you guys think about the uh, changes to the revival system that they're going to be making whenever up to, uh, update 18 comes out? My dog! 
You hurt my dog, I kill you. I murder all of your family. Yeah, that's true. They they pretty much got uh surprisingly altruistic. Yeah, that's true. It does make it so that we can go uh or we can farm significantly more without having to like worry about it, I guess. Yeah. That is super true. Companies, like, n almost never do stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. Burning all your raids on, or burning all your revives on a raid group that just isn't going to be able to do it is going to be real bad. Or is real bad currently, and it's nice that it will be changed. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Are there any weapons that anybody wants to see? Like, I've asked about frames a lot, but, uh, are there any, like, specific weapons? I don't have every single weapon currently, because at some point I just sold a bunch that I wasn't going to use. And there are some weapons I just don't have yet. Like, I don't have a Sancti Tigris yet. Although I think I know exactly how that weapon works. Bratton Prime, okay. This does not even have my serration in it. Right. Boom, take the serration. I do have that Syndicate Boltor. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Corrosive Heat. That's pretty good. <laughs> Tonkor plus Rhino. Yeah. Well, T Tonkor plus Zephyr is actually better. Mirage plus Tonkor is what's known as hell. That's that's where you go when you use that. You go to hell. That is only... Uh, it is not my first day streaming. I've streamed a little bit in the past. I don't have like a schedule or anything. Although in the future I would like for that to be a thing. Yeah. Mostly it's just the YouTube stuff that is usually very, very consistent. Hmm. Why do you ask, though? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Tell me if I'm doing something wrong. It's very important to me to have, like, th this all be good and, like, where my head is. Uh, my next why you should use there are two that are uploading the next one is is the next one number eight or number nine I think it's the tigress I think the tigress is the one that's coming out tomorrow if everything goes according to plan which it will I'll make sure it goes according to plan I think it's the tigress because I got some comments that um did a lot of like saying which one is better, like the Tigress over the Heck or the Heck over the Tigress. And uh the choice but the choice between using the Heck or the Tigress 
is more of a choice. Like, it's not one is clearly better than the other. Like, you can do math to run the numbers and be like, yeah, obviously this one is technically better, but it's definitely a preference. Which, I, I go into a lot of that stuff in the why would you use. Which is coming out in like... I think it'll be... I think I'll probably schedule it for like 2. Maybe noon. Whenever it, it's finally done processing. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do another one of these. A capture mission. Except for one has four barrels, so it's obviously cooler. I could not possibly agree with you more. Just 100% based on cool factor, I think the heck takes it every time. Alright, we're using... This frame is the best prime. Also, I say that with complete sarcasm. A lot of people, like, based on uh, my really old, like, Warframe review video, seem to think that I'm, like, a Loki fanboy. I, like, do not use this frame that much. Like, it's, it's a fun frame, and, like, it's super functional, but being sneaky is not really my thing. It's just, Loki is objectively good, and so it's hard not to say that whenever you're in a reviewing thing. New Simulor is my favorite weapon right now. The New Simulor... It's really good. That weapon is really... That, that weapon is in the same place with me as the Tonkor is, where I cannot deny that that weapon is real good. I just don't like how it fires. Oh, you're the target. Chunga 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 chunga. Yeah, I actually thought the new Simulor sucked until I got it to, like, max rank and actually started, like, modding it. thought it was really terrible prior to that. Okay, Braden plus Lotto plus Banshee. MK Breton plus Lotto plus Banshee. Well, it depend uh, depending on your Banshee build, that is actually totally fine. You'd be treating it like you were using... I don't know. Banshee is a really weird frame. I don't like Banshee much either, because I think that her low-level utility is not great. But if you're using a weapon that sucks, then you can't have, like, a, a better frame around than Banshee, I guess. Just because she makes shit weapons amazing. Like, that's... She totally does that. Boop, boop, boop. The strength of Bratton Prime. Bratton Prime has like the weirdest advantage. It's just a really consistently good weapon that has nothing special going for it. This is just like your most basic standard ass machine gun and it is just a fine gun. Like, the the greatest advantage of this weapon is that it is just a fine gun. Boop. 
Okay. Speaking of like a weird space lobster with a weird lobster like butt, Trinity Prime is amazing. And they did the exact opposite of what people like wanted, I think. Because like everybody's like, let's get rid of Trinity's lobster butt. Literally, instead of that, they took Lobster Trinity and then just pushed it as far as it could possibly go to make it so lobster that it was cool. Like, Trinity Prime looks more like a lobster than, like, regular Trinity, but it's so far gone that it is amazing. <laughs> Right here, we can go right now. Oop, Trinity Prime. Like, let's do right reg regular Trinity. Appearance, most basic. Like she's kind of lobstery. I w I also want all the frames the eh, primes to look super dumb, and they do for the most part. Like they look super dumb in a way that is like so far gone. Like, this is, like, sure. She's a lobster. Like, you could be like, yeah, you got a big lobster tail. But there's nothing else that's really lobstery about Trinity. But then we go over to Trinity Prime, and this is as lobster as it gets. Like, her, like, extra stuff on her sides. Like, all of this. Like, go look at a picture of a lobster and be like, wow. Ah, uh, Yes. Yes, I made the kind of dumb decision, I guess, of um, wanting my collector attitude to only be on um, on Warframes. I just want all of the Warframes, like, period. What are my top Warframes? Um, do you want the for fun answer, or do you want the what's the meta answer? Because those two answers are actually different. Like, in terms of just, like, having fun with, like, a play style, I really like Rhino, I really like Valkyr, and I really, really like Chroma. I think those three are just, like, they do the stuff that I like, and their themes are the stuff that I like, and Atlas a lot for that, too. Like, so th those are, like, my for fun answers. Like, those frames, like, their themes and stuff, it's all the stuff that I really like. It's, like, fucking dragons, absolutely. I fucking love dragons, and Chroma's really cool, and he's a frame that is super tanky and gets in close and beats the shit out of dudes. That's what I want. Atlas punches shit. It's great. Valkyr has her crazy claws, and she's like a huge, like, tank, and it's super fun. And, like, Rhino is just, like, the early game version of that. Rhino is, like, the frame that I immediately went to way back. Started as Excalibur, like, on this account, not on, like, my free-to-play. Started as Excalibur immediately went to Rhino. Rhino was the frame that I used for so long because Iron Skin was like what I wanted. I wanted to be the guy that could get shot and not give a, any fucks about that, even a little bit. Like any frame that does that is generally gonna be like my four fun frame. Like if you can shoot me and nothing happens basically, that's what I love. Like that's the greatest. Uh, which is kind of why I don't like stealth because like whenever I'm doing stealth stuff, it's like, eh. I'm invisible. I shot that guy. Yeah, the, the difference between fun and what is the meta are definitely different. And that's kind of why it's good to have like a mixed bag of like people for a group. And that kind of goes for like all games. Because having people that enjoy a bunch of different things is really like a huge advantage. Like for example, like uh, James, uh, that you guys have, like if you've seen it, like my Dark Souls playthrough, he prefers to be like a healing kind of like in the back magic user which is not what I'm about at all, and we, like, mesh really well in, like, most situations where we're given the opportunity to do so. Like, in this game, he really likes playing Necros as, like, a support, not just, like, a loot bitch. Because that's, like, a theme that he likes, and, like, Necros would never be a frame that I would choose just given, like, one choice of frame. Uh, let's do... Do some Saren. Hmm. Saren with a Glaxion. Let's just do some dumb shit. 
Serum with a Glaxion with a Sonic Ore. Now we're getting real dumb. Um, with the Jack Attack. All right, I have not used the Jack Attack in forever. I think the Twin Gremlins are really good as like a, um, they're more of a fun weapon. I like how they use. How long are you going to be streaming? Uh, I'm probably going to stream for like 20 to 30 more minutes. Uh, it'll be about like 1am my time then, and then I'm going to go do some other stuff. Probably, probably Destiny, honestly. Uh, I might continue streaming, maybe not. I'll probably mostly just be like talking with people and stuff. Yeah, the Twin Gremlins are more of a for-fun weapon. I like the way they shoot, basically. Uh, in terms of, like, being good dual machine guns, they're not really great at that. I think they're fun, though. Uh, let me level up this Crushing Ruin. 